Okay, in this video I'd like to show you layer masks in Photoshop and show you how important they are, especially when you want to extract, let's say we want to extract this little boy from the background. So you can see over here in my layer palette I only have this flattened image out as one piece. So um, you might think to yourself, well, all I have to do is erase the background out, which you could do, um, but it's not really the smart way of doing it. Um, and I'll show you why. So what I typically do is I'll copy the layer that I want to work on and just grab that copy and actually fill that a really bright color. So I'll make that like let's say a bright pink. You can hit Alt or Option Delete and then that layer is now filled in with a pink. And I'll, the reason why I, want, why I did that is because when I um, delete out these pixels around him I'll be able to see the pink underneath. It just helps me see a little bit better of what I'm masking out. So now in order to turn this image into a mask I gotta create this little button right here and that brings up this uh, layer mask box and uh, when you do that you're only working in white to black values <clears throat> you do not have any color options which is um, why I'll uh, explain in a second here so white basically means you're gonna be bringing back the image at 100 percent and black means you're gonna be erasing out the image at 100% and then in between is the different values. Let me show you how that works. So, whoops. If I zoom in here a little bit, let's say I was going to start off by a shoulder here. I take the paintbrush and depending on what color I select here, if I check the, the black now, even if I was to go into a color value here, it still shows up as a gray value. So, I'll make sure that's at black if I start painting, now you can see the pink is showing through underneath. So basically I'm erasing out these pixels. Let me get the brush a little bit smaller here. Now I'm not going to be too uh, too neat here. I'm just I just want to show you how it works here. But so then I'm just going to go ahead and keep painting out out the the pixels that I don't want. Now what's nice about the layer mask is that let's say I go in here and I'm, I screw up. Let's say I got a lot going on here and I can't undo all this. All I have to do now is just switch my black to white and just paint over and I have the pixels reappearing. So that's why the layer mask is really important because it allows you to go back there and bring back those pixels that you don't want. Or, yeah, that you might have accidentally erased out. So I can go back here and bring back this whole image if I wanted to by using the white then. So black means erase and white means bring back. So I'll just continue on here masking out this image so you can see a little more in detail what I'm doing. So let's just say I'm masking out just this, you know, we'll just do this really quick. Okay, so here I just masked out a, uh, a little area here, and then if I zoom out, you can see now the background is pink here. But let's say I just change this to a different color, so you can actually see that uh, it is showing the, the background here. So if I go and fill this orange now, you can see the orange is showing up through the background. Um, and again, if you click on this, you have to click on the actual white area, white and black area here in order for it to work. So when I click over here and try to erase out these pixels, you can see that the orange is showing up. So we we don't want to select the image, you want to actually select the layer mask layer right here. And that will show the black and, and white. So then if I want to bring that back in, I can just paint now and it'll actually bring them back in the, the background. And that's kind of a real intro look at uh, layer masks and uh, how to use them.